I have been waiting to do that. I've had this kind of concept in my head forever, forever. And um, I had the window in mind, and I knew I wanted to do bricks like it looked like it was a peely, chippy wall, and the map, and oh, so many good things. Now, I did not put a collage pack together for this because pretty much everything in here is part of some of the collage packs that I have already in the shop. I am going to, hopefully I'll have enough time, I am going to put on my website or on like in the free section the sketch of this window in case you want to use it. Um, but like this butterfly was two weeks ago and this map and if I, if I have the time, it's so time consuming sometimes, I'll try to include the links you guys probably have this already. Bingo cards, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, and then the sunflower field is a picture that I took um, this last week. And I'm going to have some great pictures for you guys um, this week of my home. Of home. So, um, after last, let's see, last week was home and I, you know, kind of had my mind shift of, where home is. I was drive, doing my usual thing. I'm go taking orders to the post office, going to the gym, grocery store, all the different things, different things. Um, I just had this whole heart and mind change this week. And, um, you know, it's been a process and Phoenix was pivotal. The visit to Phoenix was pivotal in all of this because I let go of some expectations that I, I, for some reason, had when I got here or whatever. Um, and just decided to love where I'm at. And um, to let go and just be in the moment. Be right here. And as I was driving down the street, and I'm like, alright Ohio, I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. I swear it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, and I just started to, I, and one of, this is a practice that I do all the time when I'm, you know, kind of in that space where I, I'm feeling, uh, I just start listing what I'm grateful for. And it, sh it, it snaps me out of whatever funky funk I'm in, and it takes me to a great place. And I was driving down the road, and all of these beautiful places, that's this picture I pulled over, took this picture of the sunflowers, I've driven by it a thousand times. Um, I've driven by tons of the pictures that you're going to see down the same roads, everything, for, I've been here almost a year now. And I just stopped this week, and I soaked it in, and I just threw out my prayer of how grateful I am. I'm so, so grateful of the beauty right now around me. And um, as I was, right, you know, get back in the car and I'm headed back down the street, said to myself, you know, I'm, I've talked to myself a lot, i talk talked to, to God a lot, whatever, and um, I just said, it's as if I'm seeing with new eyes, and that, I was, it was like, ah, and then the whole thing came together, love that, and um, so she began to see with new eyes, and I want to encourage you this week. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations, in places, in jobs, in relationships, in a whole lot of things that um, we have some unrealistic expectations of or we um, know that there needs to be a change or we know we're going to be here for a while and it's just you know, whatever the situation is. Kids, I mean, there's a season of children where it's just so overwhelming sometimes or a season of where we have adult children and we have to care for them or whatever season you are in. I just want to encourage you to just stop for a second and just start, start counting what you're grateful for. And sometimes it can feel like you don't have anything to be grateful for. I, I, believe me, I've been there. But there's, there's one. You know, like I could have said in my darkest days, I'm thankful for my pajamas. 
it's a start, right? It's a start. And thankful for whatever, whatever it is. Start listing the things that you're grateful for. And it shifts your mind. It takes the focus off of things. And you stop focusing on the negative and you start focusing on the positive. Get out and change your routine and do different things and you will begin to see with new eyes. It happens to me all the time. I go into a little wherever I am, whatever, and then all of a sudden, you know, I have to, I know where I'm going. I know that place where I start getting foggy about things. I have to stop and I have to really account for everything that I am grateful for. And it shifts my mind and it makes me see differently. And I had a great week just um, tootling around my little town, soaking in the just amazing beauty and all of the things that, I mean, it's just, it's so cute right now. My, my thought might change when it's dead of winter and it's freezing cold and the snow's up to who knows what. But right now, fall is, a, it's gorgeous. And so I took a bunch of pictures this week of the my little town and of the house and that kind of thing. And I, I just thought I'd share with you um, my gratitude for, for all that I have, for all that I have been given. And I'm so thankful to be able to see with new eyes. And I hope that you can do that this week too in whatever situation you are in. And maybe you're seeing clearly and you just need to say, thank you. Thank you for what I have. Be grateful. Um, all right, my friends. I hope your Sunday is awesome. And I am so, so grateful for you. Um, you, this community, um, just lights my world up and encourages me. And I am so grateful. And I hope that you will find something that you are grateful for today so that you can see with new eyes, you can see with your heart. Have a wonderful Sunday and get some rest and always, always know that you are loved.